Hello children and welcome to the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. So here's Jack and he's climbing up the beanstalk and it's retold by Judith Smith and Brenda Parks and it's illustrated by Heather Philpott. So let's find out about this story. Long ago in a faraway land lived a widow and her son Jack. They had no money. They only had a cow. They sold the cow's milk to buy food. So here is Jack and here is their cow and here is Jack's mother. And that's the milk that they sell to pay for food. One day the cow had no milk left. Oh, so Jack's mother said to him, Jack, take the cow to the market. You must sell her and you must bring me the money. So Jack set off with the cow. He was walking along the road when he met an old woman. Do you want to sell your cow? She asked him. Yes said Jack. There you go, so there's the old woman. There's the cow and here's Jack. So he was off to the market to sell the cow and he's met an old woman. Then the old woman said to Jack, Give me your cow and I will give you these beans. I don't want beans said Jack. Ah, but these beans are magic, said the little old woman. So Jack took the beans and he gave the cow to the little old woman. Oh, there's, there, there's the beans, can you see down there? So the little old woman has given the magic beans to Jack. So oh, when Jack got home, his mother said, where's the mother? money replied Jack I've got magic beans magic beans said his mother no money no cow only beans and she threw the beans away look children she's thrown them out of the window what's going to happen next do you think do you think so Let's find out. His mother was very, very angry and Jack was very, very sad and he went to bed. Oh look, can you see him children? He's in his bed. Look, he's very, very sad. When Jack woke up the next morning, the room was dark. Through the window he could see a huge stalk and huge leaves. Up stretched a beanstalk as far as he could see. Can you see it children through the window? Look up, up, up. It grew right up to the sky. <gasps> Jack climbed out of the window and he climbed up the beanstalk. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed and he climbed. He could see his house far below. So here he is, look, he's on the, the beanstalk and he's climbing up and up and his house is really right down far below. Anyway, look, here he is now. Up he climbed through the clouds. He reached a road. He could see a beautiful castle. It towered up into the sky. Can you see it, children? Look, there's the road. And there's the beautiful castle. Gone past all the clouds and it's right in the sky. Oh. Do you think so? Oh, 
Jack felt very scared, but he thought to himself, I'm going to find out who lives there and who lives here, sorry. He walked right up to the castle and he knocked on the castle door. There he is, look, knocking. The door swung open. The old woman stood there staring at Jack. What are you doing here? she said. A wicked ogre lives in this castle and he doesn't like little boys. But I'm hungry, said Jack. So the little old woman took Jack into the kitchen. Sit down, she said, and I'll give you something to eat. But suddenly the floor began to shake. Bang, bang, bang. It's the ogre, said the little old woman. Quick, get into the oven. Jack got into the oven just in time. The door flew open and in strode a gigantic ogre. Gigantic means very, very big. Oh, here he is. Oh, look at him. Oh, the ogre shouted, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. If he's alive or if he's dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. <gasps> There's no one here except me, said the old woman. So the ogre sat down at the table and the woman gave him some food. Jack lay very, very still in the oven. He was very frightened. <gasps> Can you see him, children? Look, he's in the oven. Scared and shocked. He's a giant. When the ogre had eaten his food, he took out a big bag of gold. Look, he said to the old woman, I got lots of gold for that boy's cow. The ogre sat and counted the gold. And then at last, he went to sleep. Jack looked at the ogre and he looked at the gold. <gasps> That's my gold, he thought. The ogre sold my cow. So Jack crept out of the oven and he grabbed the bag of gold. I think he's going to wake up, children. Jack ran to the castle door. He pushed the door, but it wouldn't open. He pushed it again. Then suddenly the door opened with a loud screech. <gasps> Jack ran out of the door and down the road. Behind him he could hear, Fee, fi, fo, fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman. If he's alive or if he's dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Oh no, he's going to get in. Running. It was the ogre. Jack ran faster and faster and faster. Behind him he could hear, Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an English man. If he's alive or if he's dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. The ogre was chasing him. <gasps> Poor Jack. Clutching the bag of gold, Jack climbed back down to the beanstalk and back onto it. He started to climb down, down through the clouds. Down, 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 down. Behind him he could hear the ogre. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I 
smell the blood of an Englishman. If he's alive or if he's dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. <gasps> the stalk swayed and the leaves shook and Jack climbed even faster. Then Jack looked down and he saw his mother. Get the axe! He yelled. You see, look. <gasps> Mum's down there and he shouted, get the axe! As Jack reached the ground, his mother chopped, chopped, chopped through the beanstalk. And that was the end of the ogre, because it came tumbling down. Jack and his mother were safe and they lived happily ever after. I hope you like that story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Have fun listening to it and try and retell it yourselves. Bye bye.